Hey guys, Darla here. Um, I'm really sorry for the glare. There's a big bright window right next to me. It's our porch window or door, and there is a lot of light today. It's really nice out, so um, apologize for that. Um, but I figured I would do a quick update video. Um, it's just take two. I did one before, but I looked really like, miserable, so I figured I'd do another while I'm more awake and it's further in the day, so. So you gotta do an update on Dot here. Um, so let me get him. <coughs> so there he is. I've uh, done a few things on him since my last video. Actually, not a few things, a bunch of things actually. I bought sandpaper and I did sanding on him. So he's all nice and smooth, no seams. All mostly gone. There were some seams I couldn't get to, and there were some inside the joints that I didn't want to like sand off too much because I was afraid I was going to screw up his botanics. So I left them alone. Um, after I sanded him and whatnot, I hot glue suede him and restrung him and everything, and he poses like a dream now. Um, well, as good as the Super Gem can pose, because Super Gems are infamous for having terrible pose movement. And his arms are whole poses really well now, as you can see. Yep, he couldn't do that before. His hands would, his arms would just flop right back down, so he can hold those really well now. Um, he has a new face up. Um, <clears throat> I know it's you can't really see, and I don't want to like hit him or anything, but and his hands in the way, of course. You can kind of see it. Um, his eyebrows are kind of bushy, but I really do like this face up. It looks a lot better than his first one. He's not orange anymore, so that's good. I also body blushed him and uh, sealed his body. He's got a little blushing on his hands. Um, some of his abs, obviously you can't see because I made him a shirt. He's got a shirt. Um, and yeah, with all the mechanics. It's, oh, I also cut his wig. His wig's a lot shorter. Um, his wig was like, he was like sitting on his hair before, but uh, thankfully I was able to cut it. Um, my dad got me a razor from work. Um, so I was able to cut his hair with a, the old school way with just plain razor blade and it worked really well. kind of messed up the wig. Just tiny bit it got a little bit scraggly looking but it actually kind of works because it looks more realistic now so I like how it looks that way so his wig's all cut and everything and like I said he's got a brand new shirt um I didn't buy it because I'm running out of money because I spend a lot of money on my doll um I used a tutorial I found on Den of Angels um Den of Angels has been an amazing resource so, so far like I love it I've found so many useful things on there um I've joined um, I, I didn't join anything, but I put, um, I was able to put feedback for Zoom and a bunch of other companies on there. Um, so that's good. And I was able, I've been able to talk to people, like, locally, who, like, local people who collect and stuff, so I've been able to do that. And, um, I found a bunch of useful tutorials, and then one of the tutorials was how to make a shirt for dolls without patterns. So I used that. Um, I'm mostly happy with the shirt, except for the fact the sleeves are way too thin. Um, his hands don't fit through there. I had to remove his hands to take the thing off put the thing on. The string got a little bit messed up, so I'm probably gonna either remake the whole shirt or just remove the sleeves and redo the sleeves, because the body of the shirt looks really good. And it looks good, but like I said, it's hard to kind of bend his arms with the shirt on. It looks kind of weird. So that's with him so far. Um, <clears throat> I'm really happy with how he's turning out. Um, he's going along really well. I might do his face up again at some point to fix his eyebrows, but other than that, I really like the face up he has right now. I tried acrylics, I did a test run with acrylics, um, still like terrified of using them. I tried to make eyebrows with them, I'm just like, this is really freaking me out, so I decided to just go with pastels and um, watercolor pencils. I thought I was supposed to, I thought I was going to get a new set of pastels because um, I thought the ones I had were crappy quality because they were kind of streaky and grainy when I was using them, but the thing is I hadn't been grinding them up fine enough, so I used like 600 grit um, sandpaper to grind them up, and I applied them to his face with uh, Q-tip, and it worked really well, so I recommend Q-tip, and then um, I used a big, uh, kind of big, kind of bushy, kind of makeup -y kind of brush, um, to kind of evenly distribute the, uh, the color. I used the, I didn't use the Q-tip for the body, though, um, I used the regular brush for the body, because it gave me more control, and I was able to spread a little bit easier, but it was really great for his eyes and his nose and his lips and everything, and I glossed him up a little bit, so. He's looking good so far, but I gotta do some more things to him. I gotta get him earrings, jewelry, um, all that fun stuff, and I gotta make him pants. He still doesn't have any pants. He's got his undies, but he doesn't have any pants. 
so I don't think he likes that very much. But yeah, that's it for him. And also I have news on some other things. Um, I actually have a second doll coming. I actually had ordered her before he even got here. Like, I was so enthusiastic about this hobby that I decided to order a second doll before my first one even got here. Um, I ordered, um, I ordered a doll off of Denver Doll Emporium, and she's going to be a Fairyland Mini Feet Shoe Shoe. Um, I've already named her. Her name is Madit. Um, she's going to be in the character universe that I have going on. She's Dobbin's cousin. Um, I don't know how big she is going to be in comparison to him. I'm assuming, I think her proportions will be a little bit off, but I just really like her. Um, I have heard like amazing things about the mini fee body, the posability, um, all that fancy stuff. So I'm like, I gotta get a mini fee. <laughs> I really gotta get a mini fee. So uh, she is um, a la carte, um, small bust. I was gonna get large, but I heard large bust had locking issues in the torso, so I got small bust instead. Um, normal skin. Um, to blind and she has cutie legs. I liked the cutie legs. Sorry, Aim. <laughs> I like the cutie legs a lot more than the model legs. My legs are a little skinny for me and I just kinda liked how the cutie legs kinda like jug out a little bit. So got her cutie legs. Um, I ordered her on February 2nd and she went into the February second. I think it was the February 7th, sixth order. Yeah, it should have been six. I don't know, my math's probably off. But, um, yep, she went to the February 6th order. Um, I have no idea when I'm gonna get her. Um, normal schedule, say 40 business days for Fairyland. But since it's through DDE, it's probably gonna be a little bit longer. Also, it's probably gonna be even longer because of that whole the Fairyland winter event and the release of People 65, Broke, and Chloe. So, it'll probably be a little while before I actually get her. Um, a little bit longer than I thought I would be waiting. So, uh, I don't know when that's gonna happen. Hopefully, I'll have her before Anime Boston, because I plan on I plan on bringing her with me to the convention, to the Boston BJD Cult uh, meetup. But that might not happen, depending on how fast Fairyland filled up the orders. Because the December 18th order, I've heard, since due to the winter event for Denver Doll, is gigantic. And it'll, I heard it was just a massive order, so hopefully it'll speed up a little bit once that order is fulfilled. Because um, I've been in the Fairyland waiting room on Denver, um, on Den of Angels and I've just been posting and stuff and like kind of stalking the arrival lists and they're not even through December yet and some only some January orders have gotten fulfilled but they're not they were through Fairland directly so I don't know when she's gonna get here um I'm on week six right now so the wait's been agonizing but I've been doing stuff with this guy to keep me busy and I'm still working on him so um I guess I'll do an update um once I make him some pants or do some more stuff with him um and then once I get my girl um, I'll do a box opening for her and whatnot. I'm um, probably gonna order clothes for her off of Etsy. I saw some nice clothes on Etsy that I like. They're very inexpensive and they're really nice. Um, <clears throat> some cute leggings and like, I don't know, just a very loose shirt or something. Something cute. I mean, at least something to hold her over until I'm able to buy stuff from 9.9 because I was gonna buy her a couple shirts off of 9.9 style, but I'm getting really low on funds because work has not been scheduling me like at all. Um, we haven't been making budget at work, so I haven't been able to get any hours at work. Um, I, I'm lucky to work once a week. I don't get scheduled on weekends anymore, so I don't get time and half on Sundays anymore. But hopefully they'll start speeding up during, like, once the summer hits and people are doing my crafts in art school. So let's hope for that. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for now. And thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.